Okay, so if you're a magician, you definitely know this trick. If you're not, you might have fun with it. So, um, yeah, let's, we can pick any card, um, but I can't see it, so we'll do it face down. Um, oh, there's, for some reason, that's there. Okay, so, basically the spec said it can pick any card. They go for that one. And essentially it gets uh, basically lost in the pack. You know, you can give it a shuffle, you can give it a kind of a ripple shuffle, you can give it cuts, um, whichever way. Um, and now I'm going to make a prediction. Basically, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say it's in the top half of the pack, right? That's not that big of a deal, but um, if I, you know, even if I'm right, it's like 50-50. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to essentially narrow it down. So I'm going to say, um, now it's in the top uh five cards of this of this half um so i'm going to show you these top five one two three four five if it is here don't say anything don't react you'll give it away um but just know uh you know you, you'll see so um so the, the two of uh diamonds the three of heart uh spades i, I get this confused the king of spades the king of hearts and the ace of diamonds okay so was your card anywhere inside uh, in, in these five cards? It was. Um, that's interesting. So we got five cards. One of them has to be your card. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that your card is probably the second one, uh, which is the King of Spades. Am I right? I was right. Watch close. See if I can just grab it like this. Watch what happens. See how it looks like it turns invisible? Watch, see how it looks like I can just throw it towards the pack. Watch close. The King of Spades is no longer in here. It is no longer in these cards. Let me get that lighting better so you can see. It is no longer in here, in any shape, shape or form. It's the King of Hearts, no King of Spades. It's completely gone. And in this pack, which usually the spectator holds the whole time, there's actually one card face down. If you see, right in the center, there's one card face down. And that card is the King of Spades, your selection. What's good, peeps? It's your boy, Eduard Toda. Today's just been a real shit day, to be honest. Uh, just being like unproductive, low energy. Like I went to training and, and my, I, I was seeing positions that I needed to get to, but my body just wasn't like moving fast as fast as my my mind so like i'd see the position and i'd try to you know move towards that position but by the time my body actually caught up with what i was thinking the positions changed and you know the guy escaped or whatever so uh you know training wise um just generally productivity um just everything was just shit today but you know you got you got these days and uh, we still got to grind it out i was going to react to eric jones on agt and then I realized it's 30 seconds long and uh, they actually like the intro is half the video. So more, more like 10 seconds. They showed 10 seconds of his performance. What the hell are they doing? AGT, you're retarded. Anyway, so I figured I'd go and look through some archives of old school magicians. And uh, Brian Gillies is uh, a pretty OG like dude. He's pretty gangster. I've actually been recently watching some of his modern stuff. Uh, but this is an old, old, old... Uh, recording of him performing on the letterman show or some something not that i don't think it's whatever some some tv show from ages ago so let's go and react to it and uh you know it'll be fun come on over and join uh, you haven't seen me before no no i can no. tell you'd be a lot more excited um <laughs> okay do you know what this is uh a spongebob it's a triple like star trek look if you rub this just like that mm -hmm. just rub it like that you can get two of them i'm gonna hold on to this you squeeze that real tight friend Put your fist right there. Right there. Squeeze it real thick. Shake your fist just like that. Slowly open up. You've got both. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Squeeze them real tight, Doc. Put your fist right there. You've got two. I've got one. Shake your fist. Slowly open up. You've got all three. <laughs> this one. I love SpongeBob routines, but I, it just doesn't suit gonna, me. I'm going to put this one in my pocket. So we had three mm -hmm. put one away. How many do you like? Uh, uh, three. Squeeze them real, real tight, Jack. He only right goes to school once a day. Right. Don't worry. <laughs> well, it can't happen to me. I won't fall for any goofy trick, that's for sure. Well, <laughs> squeeze it tight. Watch. If I invisibly take one out and put it in my pocket, how many do you think you have left? Well, if you invisibly take one out, I would have only two left. Out of the All right. Room. How many do you really think are there? How many? I think there's five now. 
22. I love this. I've seen this. I've seen him do that before. Yeah. You know, it's such a good. Uh, it's such a good play. Try to remember how many I have in each. Hand. Climax the trick. You know. Did you remember? Three and two. I'll do it again. One, two, three. Coins across. Two, did you see that? Right. Four and one. Hold on. To them. Squeeze them tight. What? Put your fist in. <laughs> Hold them tight so I can't get that fifth one. Now remember, you've got four and I've got one. Open hand count. Them. <laughs> I need to work with uh, that move that he did at the end. Slower. I need to start Once doing again, that more because I never use it. Three, five all together. All right. How many here? Two. There's five all together. Oh. Points one. <laughs> he's he's swimming, man. May I use your last name? Sure. Now watch. This is a 67. See the mm -hmm. date? Right. I'm going to take that out of your hand without you knowing about it. Right. Yeah, make make it difficult. Squeeze it so I see it real tight. <laughs> I'm gonna use another coin. This is good for distracting people. We're gonna distract Johnny. That's an East African ten cent piece. That's right. copper. It's got a hole in it. I've seen you this so see many times. I still don't know how it works exactly. It, that half dollar out of your hand. Open hand, Johnny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's impossible. I have an to idea, but it's three cards. I'll ask you one at a time what they were, and then I'll try to find them. We'll mix them up. Try to find each one a little differently, but I'll find it. Okay, now I'm interested. When it's cons, I'm interested. In fact, if you like, Doc, you can cut him or shuffle him. I want to cut him. I figured he would. <laughs> when he did that, he found your card, the one you barely peeked at. What was it? Ace of Spades. Top card. What? Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh. That's cool. Five of what? Five of Spades. Five of Spades. Five of Spades. Five of Spades. <laughs> Remember your card? What was it? Ten of Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds. Give him a, give him a quick cut. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, do I get to do anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, here. I need a, I need a bill. A five, a ten, a twenty, a fifty, a hundred. Anything but a one. It's a high class. Well, here you go. You'll, you'll choke. You wait for these guys to come up with this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got no. Look at Doc. Oh, I got no money. He, he don't know where his money is. Right. That's a five dollar bill. Yeah. All right. Now there's a reason for oh, this. Thanks this a lot. <laughs> This is the index portion of the bill. It tells right. the denominations of five. It's got the serial number on it. I want to hold on to that. Hold on to this. Okay. I'll take this bill, fold it up neatly. <laughs> oh, somebody has a match or a cigarette lighter? There you go. Here we are. All right. Do I hold light that. this? Yeah, hold it right about here. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Win the sugar bowl. What? <laughs> Hand me three of the pink ones, the sweet ones. That's sweet a cool way to do it. That's definitely Equal a cool way to do it. Equal or sweet and low? <laughs> <laughs> the pink ones. We eliminate two of these. Just pick two of them up. Yeah. Eliminates two of them. Yeah. I've seen them do Third this open. as well, and I don't know how. You, you got the serial number. You want to match it? Make sure I'm it's the same. The serial number. You're, you're number. joking about this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way. No way. Oh my god. There is a bill in here. It's a trick, I tell you. This is witchcraft. <laughs> witchcraft. Are you putting me on? Match the number. Make sure it's the same. I do not believe what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. It's the same number. Okay. This adds an element of danger to the act. That's so crazy. Fire. I don't know how that works in any way. You can help me. Just go. Too late. There's more cigarettes that way. That's the end of the hour. Just for a It's into another dimension. Gone forever. One, two, three. Did you see it go up my sleeve? No, I didn't. I'll do it again. This time I'll just count the two. It'll be easier to follow. All right. Real slow. One, two. Did you see it go up my sleeve? No, I didn't. I'll do it again. This time I'll just count to one. A little bit slower. Watch. One, did you see it go up my sleeve? I, I love these not. routines. Once more, this time I won't even go. Just real slow, put it in my hand. Did you see it go up my sleeve? No, I didn't, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> so is, is this like head of, uh, paper over head? Is that a Slidini <laughs> idea? Now we're going to use a nut. Now this is going to be tougher to hide and pass. Look it up my sleeve. You do great magic. Thank you. <laughs> Could you bring that girl back from Boston? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> right. She's in my house at the moment. Uh -huh. When I say you have to help me with this, because this ahead. is going to be tougher to hide, impossible to get up my sleeve, but easier for you to follow. When I say three, I want you to blow in the nut, go like that, real hard. Ready? Watch. What? No. When I say three, oh. on the count of three. <laughs> I know it's exciting. We'll try it again. Ready? On the count of three. Watch. One, two, three. <laughs> Put empty your lungs. Blow real hard. Don't hesitate. Real hard. I'm three. Try it again. Ready? Watch. One, two, three. <laughs> 
That's know, so I good. Still blow that yeah, that's good. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you know. do that? <laughs> You're the only one in the place who doesn't know. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I love that, those paper overhead routines. You know, they, they kind of get the most of the audience on your side. So especially if like you have a like heckler or something, something along those lines and you do that, then now all of the whole audience is on your side and you know, they're kind of like, the heckler kind of gets put in their place and it's a fun thing. You're not like trying to show off or anything because obviously everyone knows how you're doing it. So I really like, I, I really like those kind of routines. Um, but yeah, man, Brian Gillies is a beast. I mean, he's got like, he does so many different styles of like, he does SpongeBob, he does coins, he does cards, he does all this crazy shit. Um, I, I, I don't personally, I, I just can't, for me, I like SpongeBob magic and, and it looks great, but it just doesn't fit in my persona. It just doesn't like, I, I, I like, how can I be at a club and just pull out a SpongeBob? Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, coins and cards I can understand, but a SpongeBob, I mean, come on, man. I might as well start doing like handkerchiefs and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. I do daily videos. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links are down below. If you want to support me on Patreon, the link is also down below. And as always, man, respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.